PMION covers a very broad range of technologies. Some call it white gold. It's a critical material used in batteries, and of course demand is skyrocketing as energy companies and car makers move away from fossil fuels. Until now, the electric vehicle industry has heavily relied on China for the supply of lithium, a key component in EV batteries. However, recent reports suggest that there has been a significant discovery of a massive lithium deposit in India, estimated to be worth billions of dollars. This discovery has the potential to reduce China's monopoly on the lithium market and diversify the sources of lithium for the EV industry. China's policies regarding the export and pricing of lithium have undergone frequent changes, causing unease among European automakers who heavily depend on a stable and reliable supply of this critical resource. The newfound lithium deposit in India brings positive news for the EV industry, as it offers the possibility of shifting production to alternative locations and reducing dependence on China. Join us as we discuss India's $410 billion lithium deposit and how it could change the EV industry. Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger once said, control oil and you control nations. However, today it could be argued that controlling lithium, often referred to as white oil, holds a similar level of importance as stated by Marina Yuzhang. Lithium has emerged as a critical mineral in green technologies, particularly due to its application in lithium-ion batteries. These batteries are essential for powering electric vehicles and storing energy generated from renewable sources like wind and solar. However, just like oil, lithium reserves are not evenly distributed worldwide. Approximately 80% of known lithium deposits are concentrated in four countries, Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, collectively known as the South American Lithium Triangle, and Australia. Surprisingly, despite holding less than 7% of the world's lithium reserves, China has become the largest importer, refiner, and consumer of lithium. China purchases 70% of lithium compounds globally and supplies 70% of the world's lithium production, primarily catering to domestic lithium battery manufacturers. Notably, six Chinese lithium battery makers rank among the top 10 in the world, illustrating the nation's dominance in the lithium industry. China's lithium dominance has caused concerns. Recognizing the strategic importance of lithium and other critical raw materials, both the European Union and the United States have prioritized initiatives aimed at achieving greater self-sufficiency in these resources as part of their industrial policies. The objective is to reduce reliance on China and foster the development of domestic green technologies and they might get their chance now with the recent discovery of lithium in India. The Indian Ministry of Mines recently made a significant announcement, reporting the discovery of a substantial inferred lithium ore deposit in India. The deposit is estimated to contain approximately 5.9 million tons of lithium, positioning India as the country with the fifth largest lithium reserves in the world. This remarkable find is located in the Riasi district within the provinces of Jammu and Kashmir. The timing of this discovery is particularly noteworthy, as India is actively working towards establishing itself as a major player in the development and adoption of electric vehicles and clean energy technologies. Currently, India relies heavily on imports of lithium to meet the demands of its growing manufacturing sector primarily sourcing it from countries such as Argentina, Chile, and Australia. In fact, imported lithium accounts for approximately 80% of the total lithium used in the country. The newfound lithium deposit in India represents a transformative opportunity, potentially reducing India's dependence on lithium imports and strengthening its position in the EV industry. By leveraging its own lithium reserves, India can enhance its self-sufficiency in this critical resource, thereby securing its supply chain and potentially reducing the costs associated with importing lithium. This discovery holds immense promise for India's domestic lithium industry. It has the potential to attract significant investments and foster the growth of a robust and sustainable lithium extraction and processing sector within the country. By tapping into its own lithium reserves, India can not only support its burgeoning EV market, but also enhance its standing as a global player in clean energy technologies. Furthermore, the development of a domestic lithium supply chain aligns perfectly with India's ambitious goals of promoting renewable energy and reducing carbon emissions. As India strives to transition to a greener economy and reduce its reliance on fossil fuels in transportation, 
securing a stable and domestic supply of lithium becomes crucial. The recent discovery of a significant lithium deposit in India has the potential to attract U.S. and European automakers to consider moving their production operations to the country. With India's growing emphasis on developing its electric vehicle market, it is plausible to assume that the Indian government would be receptive to collaborating with foreign companies and fostering the growth of their EV industry. The expansion of EV production in India holds the promise of stimulating economic growth by attracting foreign investments and creating new job opportunities. In particular, the region of Kashmir, where the lithium deposit is situated, could greatly benefit from increased investment. In recent years, Kashmir has experienced a decline in investment due to political uncertainty and frequent internet shutdowns following the revocation of its autonomous status by the Indian government in 2019. By establishing EV production facilities in Kashmir and other parts of India, foreign automakers can contribute to the economic revitalization of the region. This would not only provide opportunities for the local workforce, but also help mitigate the negative impact of the aforementioned political uncertainties. The infusion of new investment and job creation in Kashmir could potentially alleviate socio-economic challenges and improve the standard of living for the local population. Furthermore, the presence of foreign automakers in India would lead to technology transfer, knowledge sharing, and skill development within the workforce. This exchange of expertise can contribute to the growth of India's indigenous automotive industry and enhance its ability to compete on a global scale. The collaborative efforts between international companies and Indian stakeholders can foster innovation, increase research and development capabilities, and drive the overall advancement of the EV sector in the country. Several Europe-based premium and luxury car makers, including Skoda, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW, are increasing their focus on the Indian market. This strategic move comes as global recessionary concerns impact demand in Europe, the UK, and the US, and a surge in COVID-19 cases dampen consumer sentiment in China. Furthermore, there have been long-standing rumors about Tesla's plans to establish a production facility in India. The speculation began after Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi met at Tesla's Fremont factory in Northern California in 2015. It was rumored that they discussed a potential partnership that would mark Tesla's entry into the Indian market. Although there was little progress on the Tesla India partnership initially, there were notable developments in late 2020 and early 2021. Tesla made significant strides towards establishing a production facility in India and had even chosen Karnataka as the location for a gigafactory where all electric vehicles would be manufactured. Additionally, Tesla assembled a team of executives to oversee its operations in India. However, despite these advancements, Tesla and India were unable to reach an agreement on how to assess the demand for electric vehicles in the country. Another reason an agreement couldn't be reached is because of the country's substantial import duties, which rank among the highest globally. Importing Tesla vehicles to India would subject customers to nearly double the original price of the car, creating a significant barrier to entry. To overcome this obstacle, Tesla proposed a trial phase where it could import vehicles from China or Germany to assess the demand in India. However, the Indian government officials were reluctant to create company-specific rules and were not favorable towards importing vehicles built in China for customers. The key to resolving this issue lies in Tesla's ability to manufacture vehicles within India. By producing vehicles domestically, Tesla would no longer be subject to the hefty import taxes, allowing them to offer their vehicles at more affordable prices in the Indian market. In a recent turn of events, Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, rekindled speculation about the Tesla Gigafactory in India. In April, Musk's decision to follow Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Twitter sparked anticipation and led many to speculate that an agreement or significant progress may be on the horizon. If Tesla succeeds in establishing a production facility in India, it would mark a significant milestone for the company's expansion into the Indian market. Not only would it enable Tesla to bypass the high import duties, but it would also facilitate the affordability and accessibility of Tesla vehicles for Indian customers. So what do you think about this new development? Let us know down in the comment section.